Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. So Libra, the messages that I put forth, they are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what applies and leave the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and tap in and see what Spirit needs you to know at this time. Spirit, give me some energy for Libra. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter. Spirit, give me some messages for Libra. What's the energy? Messages for Libra. What would you like for Libra to know at this time? What's the energy? Wow, I have the Hierophant and High Priestess. So we have Taurus and Pisces energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what this energy is. For some of you, this could have to do with the Pisces masculine. Or somebody that has it highly aspected. Spirit, tell me why is the Hierophant and the High Priestess here? I feel like this definitely deals with um, a divine union, a divine couple. Tell me more about the Hierophant and the High Priestess. What's the energy? Tell me more about the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Why is this here for Libra? What's the energy? Okay, Ooh, the world. So we have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Aquarius energy. Somebody may have to do time for some of you. Something I have to do with um, legalities. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Seven of Wands. Tell me more about the world. I'm hearing defense. Yeah, so some of you have um, some legal issues. Somebody may have some court cases or a court case, I should say. Or this could be something going on with a person that's energetically tied to you. Why is the world here for Libra? What's the energy? The Nine of Cups in reverse and Three of Wands. So somebody's not happy. Somebody's dissatisfied here. This person's not content or you're not content. For some of you, somebody's not happy with the cycle being over. Something closing out. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Libra? What's the energy? Why is the Nine of Cups here for Libra? The Five of Wands. So there's some type of drama. I'm getting like cattiness. Just very immature energy. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So for some of you, I feel like this is um, someone that's in this Three of Wands energy. Somebody's not happy with um, another person's actions. Um, someone else's character. This person or you don't like the way that this individual goes about things, goes about life. This is somebody that can create a lot of challenges for you. Somebody um, is a fire starter here. Somebody likes confusion, likes chaos. And then I'm hearing the ambulance. Yeah, this person does a lot. Give me an energy for the nine of cups in the reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups in the reverse here? The Ace of Swords. So somebody is finding out the truth about a situation and it doesn't make them happy. Something has to do with a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, confusion. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here for Libra? What's the energy? Three of Cups. So this is a third party. So this is a third party. I'm hearing mischief. So this is a third party that likes to create confusion. Somebody's always in something. Somebody loves drama. For some of you, something could be happening online. Um, this is somebody, I'm hearing Aaliyah back and forth. So this is somebody who will go back and forth. This is somebody who likes to do tit for tat. Give me an energy for the three of wands. And I feel like either you or this person is getting tired of it. It's just getting tired of dealing with somebody, um, that's just immature. Tell me more about the three of wands. 
I feel like with the King of Cups in the reverse, this person could be emotionally closed off. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like this is somebody who will start something, start some type of drama, argument, and they will always come back and apologize for it. But with this Three of Wands and the way that, you know, this Page of Cups is laying on this Three of Wands, the energy I'm picking up on is like, you don't want to hear it or this person don't want to hear it because this person always does this. Give me an energy for the Three of Wands. Look at this, the title card. Somebody always have to apologize for the things they say. Somebody has a reckless mouth. This person says just anything that comes to mind. Um, this is somebody who feels entitled. Somebody really don't have respect for other people's feelings. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for Libra? What's the energy? The Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody's just manipulative. There's somebody who will start something and then come back and apologize, but it's just to manipulate, just to control the situation. This person knows what they're doing. Give me another energy for the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for Libra? What's the energy spirit? Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to be seen um, in a certain light. Somebody wants you to view them as somebody who's independent, self-sufficient, or want this other person to see them this way, but they're really not. I feel like somebody wants to walk away and go towards something that's really meant for them, something that's really more up their alley, go towards a situation that's more balanced, a person that's like-minded. Give me an energy for the title card. And I feel like with the Magician to the Nine of Pentacles, either you're manifesting this or this person is. Why is the title card here for Libra? Why is the title card here for Libra? What's the energy? The High Priestess and the Four of Cups. I feel like somebody don't want to accept something. Somebody don't want to hear whatever's being told to them. This is again giving me child like childlike energy. I feel like with this high priestess, there's someone in this third party's energy that is trying to tell this person the truth about themselves, about this partnership, but they don't want to hear it. Somebody just refuses to accept the truth. For some of you, this is somebody refusing to accept that something is over. Somebody no longer wants to deal with them. Somebody is just like not trying to hear it. Give me an energy for the High Priestess. Heavy on a Pisces energy in this reading. Why is the High Priestess here? For Libra, what's the energy? Death and the Two of Pentacles, but it came out sideways. Um... There's a cycle closing out. I feel like somebody can no longer keep something together. And it's like this third party knows it. This third, this third party knows that this is the end. Like I'm hearing boys to men. Um, the end of the road. For some of you. Um, with me saying boys to men. I feel like. At one point in time. This masculine and feminine energy was immature as well. And that's how they were able to build a relationship, a connection with this third party. But somebody has ascended. Somebody has matured. And it's like, you know, I don't do the things I used to do anymore. It's like the things that was once fun, pleasing is no longer such. Somebody, you know, has elevated above all of that. But it's like this third party hasn't. And somebody just don't want to accept that something is over. It's about to be like a change is happening. And somebody just refuses to deal with it, to see it for what it is. Give me an energy for the Seven of Wands. Scorpio energy on death. Why is the Seven of Wands here for...
Libra, what's the energy? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's still being reckless, still trying to block. Like I say, just very immature. This is giving me whiny energy, me, me, me. Like, how you going to leave me out in the cold? Like, someone is still doing the most. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Libra? What's the message? Why is the Seven of Wands here for Libra? What's the energy spirit? Queen of Wands, yeah, this third party. Somebody's still trying to delay someone from moving forward. Don't want someone to go towards a new path. Don't want this person to have a future without him or her. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Libra? What's the energy or you? Look at this. Seven of Cups. Somebody's still trying to lie, manipulate a situation. Somebody's also still asking for things. So for some of you, this could be somebody that's very codependent, very needy, clingy, still asking for things. Somebody's just trying to see what they can get out of you or what they can get out of this person. Somebody feels like this is going to work. The number seven can be significant. 77 with the seven of wands, seven of cups. Give me another energy for the knight of wands. Why is the knight of wands here for Libra? What's the message? Six of Wands. Somebody's somebody's trying to do something for attention. Somebody's trying to get your attention or this person's attention. And they're trying to figure out what can they do to get your attention or get this masculine's or feminine's attention. Again, all eyes on me. Somebody likes to be seen. Even if it's not for the right reasons, like any attention is good attention for this person. Give me an energy for the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Justice. Somebody's trying to see how they can get something to go in their favor, how they can get and keep somebody's attention, how they can keep you or this person laser focused on them. Or Libra, this is you. Take it as it resonates. This is your card. Give me an energy for the Queen of Wands. The Fool, Aquarius energy. Tell me more. This is somebody that feels like they can do anything and get away with it and not have to face any consequences. So thank you, Spirit. Legal issues. So where I was picking up on in the beginning on legal issues, I feel like for some of you, this person plans on doing something reckless that is going to get them in trouble with the law. I feel like this person has I don't care attitude. This is somebody that's not used to taking accountability for their actions. And they feel like it's going to work. They're going to be able to get away with it. Yeah, somebody plans on doing something that is going to get them into some serious trouble here. But this person don't feel like it's that serious. Something has to do with a dog. I'm looking at this dog in the picture. For some of you, if you have like a dog, or some this person could be trying to like take your dog, take your pet from you, steal your pet. That's a very specific message for someone. You don't know if it resonates with you or it could be happening again to somebody who's energetically tied to you. It's like somebody's trying to take something of yours, take something that belongs to you. I'm hearing property, like steal something from your property. Take a piece of property of yours, like somebody's trying to do something, but it's only to get your attention. It's only to distract you or this person. Give me an energy for the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Libra? What's the energy? Why is the Queen of Wands here for Libra? The Emperor. Aries energy. So yeah, I feel like this is dealing with somebody's um, spiritual mate, especially with the higher offensive high priestess out here. Somebody's divine masculine is going through this. Give me an energy for the Fool. Yeah, whoever this person got themselves caught up with is like too much. Does entirely too much. 
This could also be a feminine operating more in her masculine energy. The King of Swords. Yeah, somebody don't see that um, something's not going to go in their favor. Somebody like foolishly thinks that they're going to be able to get away with something. Criminal for some of you. They'll get a slap on the wrist. Like, again, this person is not used to being accountable. But I feel like this time, like, no, this is like God's spirit stepping in. <sighs> this person's finally going to be held accountable for his or her actions. If they decide to do something illegal. I'm also getting... um character defamination of character so for some of you something has to do with that i feel like this person could be going around trying to ruin your character trying to slander you or this person again something that has to do with online but it's like somebody has to pay the piper here because they don't want to let go they just want attention they just want to create drama to keep someone stuck to them to hold on to this person to hold on to you why is the higher thing here for libra What's the energy? Why is the Hierophant here for Libra? What's the message spirit? Two of Cups. Give me energy for the High Priestess. Four of Swords. Tell me more. For some of you, you could be having um, a lot of migraines and headaches. Somebody could be stressed out, could be worried. Give me another energy for the High Priestess. Ten of Cups. So for some of you, this isn't you. Or it could be, you could be the third party in this situation. Take it as it resonates. This is the third party here that's worried about you coming together with someone. Someone that you have a spiritual connection with. This is a spiritual union. Divinely orchestrated, divinely guided. I feel like that's why this third party is going to receive some harsh consequences. Major karma. Because... He or she is interfering in a spiritual connection. I feel like you and this person, like yin and yang, you will bring a lot of balance to each other. Again, I'm looking at the woman standing on the water, the high priestess. And then we have the woman standing on the ground, the hierophant. You each may have different belief systems. One of you may be more traditional. The other woman may be more spiritual. But when you connect, you're going to make it work. I feel like you and this person are meant to accomplish something great together. And it's all being ordained or has been ordained by the Most High. And anybody trying to block this, there will be stiff consequences, whether it's in, you know, the physical or it's in the spiritual. It's karma. It's things going on in your life, but or in this person's life that they could have never foreseen. Either way, nobody can block this. This is somebody's ten of cups. This is wish fulfillment and somebody's stressing out about it they're worried about you being happy with somebody else with somebody that you are destined to partner up with or worried about this other energy being in this ten of cups you and this person both have something that you will give to each other you will pour into each other i feel like you know you will both elevate each other one will uplift the other. It's going to be a very balanced connection, equal reciprocity, equal give and take. You will both enlighten each other. Open each other up to a new way of thinking. 
Give me an energy for the King of Cups in the reverse. Why is the King of Cups in the reverse here for Libra? What's the energy? Why is the King of Cups in the reverse here for Libra? What's the message spirit? Why is the King of Cups here for Libra? The Tower. Scorpio energy. For some of you, this person could have Scorpio highly aspected. Give me another energy for the King of Cups in the reverse. The Eight of Wands. I feel like whatever this masculine has to say is going to be shocking to whoever this third party is. Because somebody really feels like they have this person wrapped around their finger. They can cause some type of um, confusion, mischief. And this masculine is just going to bow down. Somebody's just going to surrender. And that's not the case. I feel like this masculine is going to be very stern, very cold, and very mean to this third party. Whatever he has to say or she has to say is going to send shock waves. But this person is speaking their truth. I feel like, too... This tower is this person being in this King of Cups in the reverse. Somebody could be switching up how they handle things very quickly, abruptly, an abrupt change that this third party is not expecting. Somebody's standing on business here. That's what this is. Or you are, Libra. Take it as it resonates. Give me one more for the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Libra? What's the energy? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Libra? It's fair. So judgment is coming in quickly for someone. So I feel like not only is part of the judgment is this masculine energy or you being closed off emotionally, but there's also a major ending, a major tower coming in and it's with the eight of wands here is coming in very fast and for some of you it's going to be back to back things occurring in this person's life because somebody's just too consumed too focused on what you have going on or what this other person has going on so now this third party is going to have their own business and a lot of it so libra this is your reading take what resonates Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.